All right, Wisconsin and Illinois. We go back to the Big Ten. Uh, Wisconsin, two and a half point road favorites, 42 the total. This has been bet down. This game opened Wisconsin, four and a half point road favorites, down to two and a half. And it's because Tanner Mordecai's broken his hand uh, and he's out indefinitely at quarterback for uh, Wisconsin. Uh, that is the reaction. And that's why the money's poured in here uh, on Illinois in this game. So that means uh, Luke Fickle going to have to turn to uh, Miles Burkett uh, at the, uh, or sorry, Braden Locke is going to be the uh, quarterback here for uh, Wisconsin moving forward. Uh, he's going to get his first start uh, that uh, of the season here uh, as in his career, Braden Locke. He took over for Mordecai uh, on Saturday in the 15-6 to loss to Iowa. Now, credit. Now, granted, he was playing against a terrific defense, Iowa. 15-30, 50% completions, 122 through the air, no touchdowns, one intercept. He struggled, obviously. Comes into the game, Mordecai gets injured. Now he's facing a team where... Illinois' defense has been brutal this year compared to last year. They lost everybody on the defensive side of the football, and they just have not been able to adequately replace that NFL-bound talent uh, on the defensive side of the football uh, this season. Uh, Illinois coming off uh, a 27-24 win against Maryland, um, which was a stunner. Uh, and Luke Altmeyer comes out of nowhere in, in that win against Maryland and plays one of his better games. Uh, they had some success running the football. Uh, the defense, you know, it, it was just one of those games where Illinois just made some key plays. They finally got their offense going and they pull a stunner uh, as a t almost two touchdown underdog on the road against Maryland last week. But I don't know. That was that. Uh, is that a sign Illinois is ready to go on a bit of a run here? I'm not so sure. I don't trust Illinois still. I got to see it again. Uh, and if anything, now you're going to get a deflated point spread with Wisconsin even though they're going to break and lock at quarter. It's not like Mordecai was phenomenal for them this year. You know, it's not like he was absolutely lighting it up for this offense. So I actually think there's value now on Wisconsin if you can trust the new quarterback, but I don't trust Illinois. I need to see more. I know that was a nice win on the road against Maryland. Very unexpected, but let's not forget how bad Illinois looked before that. I yeah. still can't get that out of my mind. I need to see two games in a row of consistency before I'm ready to say, yeah, Illinois is back on track. What do you think here, C-Mac? Yeah, and on the road here, I don't know how much you want to put on, you know, this kid Locke. I think you hand it off because that's been – obviously, it's always Wisconsin, their strength running the football. And Illinois has just not been good, you know, rank 100 to 164. I think they've looked a little better the last few weeks, but it was pretty bad early on we've touched on it how much they lost to the nfl but still i thought they'd be better than this altmeyer he's a key if he you know doesn't throw any interceptions fumbles like i think illinois is in this game and wins it and i think you could even lead a little under but i don't trust the defense because i know wisconsin is just going to be slow as all hell uh the total is just really low so i lean illinois here at home 